Our top story today, due to a massive snowstorm on Wednesday night, roads and highways across Seoul were chaotic this morning, with numerous cars stranded and abandoned overnight on icy streets. On top of that, sub-freezing temperatures have caused ice to take hold, making this morning's commute equally as treacherous. For more, we connect to our Choi jung -yun at the News Center. Jung -yun. Hi, Mugyeon. The heavy snow that fell across large parts of South Korea on Wednesday night sparked chaotic scenes on the nation's roads and caused traffic gridlock. Drivers were forced to abandon their cars overnight as they were unable to move due to sleeper roads and wheels being stuck in the snow. And actually, I was among the struggling to get home as I had to walk from Arirang to the nearest subway station, jostling through the swarming snowstorm. Things weren't better this morning. Due to temperatures dropping to as low as minus 17 degrees Celsius, roads were frozen, which also caused problems for those headed to work. From 7 a.m., usually a comparatively early time for congestion, subway stations were crowded with people heading to work early. On top of that, icy roads caused buses to run very slowly. As a countermeasure, Prime Minister Cheong se kyun had ordered rush hours be adjusted and promised a thorough snow removal process throughout this morning to make sure there's less traffic disruption. Expecting more people to take public transportation, Seoul City also increased the number of buses running in the morning and extended bus operation times by 30 more minutes. Some 36 more subway services were extended as well. That's all I have at this hour. Back to you, Mogan.